Our particular subdivision has a camp out weekends is when we have our crown wars. A lot of people setting up period tents. They're made the way they made them back then. You've got a lot of banners flying and a lot of colors and, and heraldry going on. And it does, it helps it kind of bring it to life. You feel more, you're, more like you're in that time period. We have squires, we have knights, we have our own royalty. I've always wanted to be the knight in shining armor. Now I get to do it for real. Having all the banners and all the people in their heraldry and their costumes and their armor, you can really get into the moment when you're down there on the front line. It's a lot of fun. Um, some people uh, get into character and talk the way they would have back then. It, it, it helps you kind of feel like you're really there and you, you feel a little more in character. You start wanting to say I and... <laughs> you know. I remember when I put the chain mail on the first time, 20 pounds, I thought I would fall on the floor. And then within a month, two months, it's all good. Code is today. You have to be in the right like mindset with the fighting, with um, you know, just cherishing the medieval history basically and paying tribute to that and just wanting to promote the old classical values among people that often forget about that. Good. Just that first one. Oh, I know. I, sh I should have kept one eye on you, and I didn't. Oh. I think that everybody can be good at it. It doesn't matter, you know, it, because it's not about, you know, the size or the height or the muscle power that much, you know, but it's more about speed, about strategy, about like, thinking, like what, and just observing the body language of the other opponent. A new member that joins the Empire starts out with Shanai because it's a good safe practice weapon to start with. It helps you learn to how to wield a weapon properly and, and it's you know, a nice way to get into it. So when we have our Shanai events, this allows everyone in the kingdom to take part. Then you work your way up to Rapier. So now you've got a steel weapon, but it's, it's a little lighter, a little easier to deal with. And instead of doing hacking and slashing like you would with a shanai or sword, it's a thrusting weapon. Its, it's whole purpose is to thrust. For shanai and rapier, the, the armor can be pretty much the same for the most part. It's the, the big difference is when you move into heavy steel. Once you get into heavy steel, you definitely have to have plate armor. Because, and helms, and you gotta be covered from head to toe. Because this is where it gets very dangerous. You lose fingers and, you know, break bones and stuff. <laughs> Right away. Uh, my lord, you're done fighting. You're definitely going to want to make sure you've had a few hours in the ring with this before you try this. Should have another strap to hold that. I got so bruised last time at the Hearts and Honor tournament. Yeah. There you go. I got stabbed right here. Oh, did you? You know, the Knight's Code of, of Chivalry. You, you know, what we do on the field out there, trying to be honorable and, and, and you know, be honest that can carry over into the, your your everyday life. You're telling me, you see, this is exactly why we all do that. You see this feeling, you see this rush, that's why we all do that and we'll never stop. I would like to conduct myself with honor. I would like to be respected, so I try to do so. What I do here and under my game name, I carry into my everyday life. I try to be a, a, a good person. And it's definitely an adrenaline rush. Oh!